in my opinion, the Kingdom Hearts franchise should have ended in two. They didn't have to make get into a trilogy, which they didn't do yet. They're not making a Kingdom Hearts three until that whole Final Fantasy thirteen project comes to an end. And they're milking the shit out of that project too because. They're just adding so much more to it, and everything that, especially Versus, which is going to be really good, they, they didn't even get to that yet. They didn't even complete that shit yet. Now they're trying to do a Final Fantasy 13 3, which is add more add-ons to Final Fantasy 13 2, so you get more shading endings until you get the ending you actually want. Who cares, because that... Original game sucked, and the only thing that's showing any value is versus. But tangent aside, since I am the master of all tangents, um, Kingdom Hearts was a game I played back in 2002 when it came out, and I liked it a lot. I like Chain of Memories. I like Kingdom. I like Kingdom Hearts one from 2002. Chain of Memories from 2004, but I got it in 2005. And then there was the second one, Kingdom Hearts 2, which came out in 2006, and I liked that one too. Problem is that they fucked it up. Everyone's trying to get the third game when it finally comes out, when they finally start working on it. But now they're trying to add all these prequels and shit. And they're trying to do all this stuff. And I've played these games. I didn't play Days. But I played Birth by Sleep. And let me tell you, that game sucked. I didn't like the gameplay. I didn't like the fights. Like, there was nothing to enjoy about it. But regardless... They should have ended it at 2. Let me explain why. This is me trying to be logical, not just trying to use an opinion and shit. At 2, the gang was all together again. In Kingdom Hearts 1, let's forget about the prequels that they added on and all that propaganda. We were introduced to these characters at Kingdom Hearts 1. Sora, Riku, and Kairi. And they sort of, when Destiny Islands got destroyed, split apart. Well, Sora and Kyrie's heart went into Sora and shit like that. And there was a whole lot of that shit. And Riku just went in a completely different place. He, When Sora went to Travis Town, Riku was in... Hollow Bastion, which is Radiant Garden now. And that's where he met Maleficent, and then he became all dark and shit. So all these characters go through their little character arcs. And by the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, yeah, the bad guy, Ansem, is defeated. And his real name is not Ansem, but for now, let's call him Ansem. That's how we knew him back then. But everyone's all disconnected. That trio, that protagonist, deuteragonist, and tritagonist, they're still split apart. So then you got Chain of Memories. And then you got Kingdom Hearts 2. And at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2, they all finally go back together. They become a little more dynamic. Kairi was always this plot character. However... Her personality, she does become more mature. She grows up. Sora changes. Riku changes because he had to. He's the one that changed the most because he had to battle with himself and darkness and shit. Where Sora just. He's still happy go lucky, but. He's experienced so much and he grew as a person. So each of these characters did grow 
uh, but then they finally came back together at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. Sure, there's a lot of plot holes that could have been filled, but ending in a Kingdom Hearts 2, you do get a bigger resolve. Where I saw this little 3DS game that they did, and just the ending and what they do. And I also know about Birth by Sleep 2, which they're thinking of making, and I'm thinking, wow. What kind of shit is this? This is embarrassing. This is my franchise they're doing all this shit with. This is my... I, would, I wouldn't call it a childhood, but... Yeah, this is my fucking childhood. Essentially. And they're fucking it up. They're ruining it. You see, it's bad enough that they're adding these prequels, which, when you look at it from forward perspective, yeah, it puts a lot of things pers into perspective, a lot of what they say about the previous Keyblade wielders and shit. But it also ruins the narrative a little bit, because you got these three Keyblade wielders that came to Destiny Islands ten years before the first game, and now, going forward, the narrative just doesn't have that touch it had before, where Sora was like in this, at the start of Kingdom Hearts, he was this guy that was a sort of blank slate in a blank slate world, then he gets pushed into all these worlds, but now he had these three previous Keyblade wielders and these previous people that saw his world and went to it. And it just fucks it all up. It ruins it. It does fuck up the narration a little bit. Another thing is these final mixes. I can understand for the original Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. But they added a final mix to Birth by Sleep. I'm sure you're going to add more final mixes to other shit, so. It's one thing that you create a preview for. A game. It's one thing to do that. But then to. Make people buy it like a second time, but with just. An extra boss battle and a more specific ending, which is just still horse shit. That ain't worth your money, cause final, at least with Final Mix two and the original Final Mix, they added a lot of different shit. For Birth by Sleep, they didn't add a lot of shit. At least not a lot of shit that's worth mentioning. I mean, other than that extra boss battle and extra ending with Aqua. They didn't really do much. I mean, personally speaking, I'm kind of losing my trust in Square. I mean, they've been doing shit that's counterintuitive. It's one thing to milk a franchise, but to castrate it of what made it work and just make it an empty shell of what it previously was, that's kind of cruel. However, maybe it's just me that sees this because a lot of my other friends are Kingdom Hearts fans and they pretty much still enjoy the franchise. They enjoy the new games that come out. Granted, these other fans of the game happen to be girls, so. Maybe it's just because Sora and Riku are cute. But I kind of doubt it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video made you think about something other than politics and wrestling and other shit I talk about. And. 
I signed on to a Psalm sheet. I was on it a few days ago. I'm still thinking of something I can do on a Psalm sheet that I can't do on Mr. Wonka 7. But alright. Enjoy yourselves, guys.